This is the continuing saga of me trying to complete my unfinished freelance three-cylinder garden railway locomotive. Candidly, I've lost enthusiasm for this build, but it's got to be done. First time ever. On steam, it's not holding pressure very well. The fire can't keep up. But it went round. Progress of assault. I feel like that's all. You can't actually maintain twenty PSI, so. We ain't got enough heat going into this, but anyway. Uh, there's more to ceramic burners and meets the eye. Clearly, a whole lot's about to go up in flames. Because of the insulation tape I've put around the lagging. Ask me if I'm bothered. Man, I love that sort. Boiler stroke burner combination is absolutely friggin' hopeless. No question about that. This is the um, sort of freelance 084 locomotive that I started working on two or three years ago. Um, I got the mechanics to work and there are some previous videos on that and I did actually build a boiler for it. Unfortunately the boiler, which again is a bit freelance, is absolutely useless. Um, it did steam, not very well, but it didn't produce anywhere enough steam capacity to run the three cylinders on this engine and at that point I just got totally frustrated and put the project on the shelf until I had some better thinking. The better thinking will be based around a piece of Two inch outside diameter copper tube. This I think is the original one was inch and three quarters. Some two inch outside diameter copper tube, which will provide a little bit more water capacity, and I hope uh, an improved design of firebox. This was the first time I'd ever attempted to put, to use a um, a ceramic burner, and what I did just didn't work. It was useless. Um, and I've got a block of ceramic, so I'm going to have another go at that as well. I 
Now to try and, which is probably a mistake, but to try and make life easy for myself, which always never works out actually, um, the plan is to remake the new boiler with the larger boiler tube in such a way that it will fit to the original smoke box and that smoke box was made for the smaller boiler shell but will fit by means of a change ring to the existing smoke box foolishly trying to save myself a job and not having to make a new uh, a new smoke box will it work? Well, you tell me because I don't know when I first made the original boiler for the 084 this one I was feeling a bit lazy and I bought a shop bought ceramic burner I'd never used a ceramic burner before so I didn't really uh, think anything of it and consider anything but I now realise uh, perhaps I was a bit dumb the reality of this burner is it doesn't have any air inlets through the burner itself so when I plunk, plunked it rather into the um, firebox guess what the burner didn't work at all well and uh, because it wasn't getting any air I tested it when it was in the atmosphere and it all was fine as soon as I put it in there uh, no good at all and I've only lately begun to realise why that is I mean this boiler is still no good and in the sense that there isn't any, enough water capacity in it for this particular engine in my view so I am making a new boiler but I just thought I'd mention um, this issue that I've lately come to ponder with this original uh, burner that I bought from somewhere or other if you're going to use it you would have to put it in a place um, really outside the firebox or all to the firebox so the flipping thing could get some oxygen it's been so long since I built a boiler I've just about almost forgotten how to do it anyway um, I have now bent up the bones of the uh, of the outer shell for the pr proposed new boiler on the 084 which is a good start and the next thing to do is to make its innards it's just at the moment temporarily propped up, propped up on the chassis and of course at the end of all this I'm going to have a perfectly serviceable boiler left over an inch and three quarter job so I wonder if that's the start of another project that I haven't even begun to think about to figure out something to do with that anyway that's down the line the next job is to uh, solder the tube plate and throat plate into the firebox wrapper and to solder in the uh, the cross tubes in the firebox so that's what we'll have a go at next firebox wrapper and flu tube now soldered together including the uh, Three cross tubes in the firebox. Only sort of slight issue, I don't know how it happened really. Silver solder somehow got out of control at this point, so that's going to probably need um, reducing a little bit to go in the boiler, but I'll, uh, I'll have a look at that when I'm ready to do that operation. But on the whole, silver soldering looks good and uh, I haven't wasted too much I hope silver solder so expensive is not true so uh, yeah it's all good so while I was um, soldering up the uh, 
through tube and firebox wrapper I took the opportunity to solder the various bushes into the uh, boiler shell all got a nice fillet so all good my new revised boiler for the 084 is now made hasn't been tested yet but it's made and uh, just for comparison that's the original boiler which I made for this uh, this engine and as you can see second time round I've used a uh, a larger diameter tube so frankly with considerable difficulty I don't know what this is whether it's brass or bronze but it was a hell of a difficult thing to machine. I've turned up a mating ring to mate the revised boiler to the original smoke box. Will I regret this shortcut? I do not know. I've made a mistake on the remade boiler. Let's face it, if I didn't make mistakes I would think it was somebody else building it. What I've forgotten to do is to put a, a lower bush on the back head here for the bottom of the water gauge. Not a big deal. I can, um, I can fit a bush there after I've done the pressure test, which I still haven't done. Um, using high melting point, say 300 degrees C or something like that, high melting point soft solder. Because if this back head gets to about anything like that temperature, life has already gone so wrong, it won't really matter. If I get anywhere with this build, I uh, hope to see you next time. Many thanks for watching.